Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I need to prepare a customer demonstration for um, bringing air compressors to Datacake. And I've created an air compressor demo workspace and I'm now going to show you how I create the first mock-up or POC demo um, for integrating these air compressors. So we are starting with a workspace that is completely empty. And the first thing I need to do is to, because I don't have an air compressor here in my office, I'm going to um, create a data generator that creates some random data, uh, which could be from a physical air compressor. I asked ChatGPT to create uh, a script and we are going to new use Node-RED for it. So let's first of all, uh, care about the Node-RED part and create uh, the demo data generator. For this, we are going to use the inject node uh, and also the function node. And I already copied this to my clipboard so we can get into the function board, paste this. And this is the script actually that simulates my device data. Let's put a debug node in here, uh, wire this up all together, deploy it. And when I click on this button here, this simulates the script. And we can see here, okay, um, the device Aircom 001 produce, has a motor temperature of 68 degrees Celsius, energy usage, power, random data. But actually this could be data coming from um, the air compressor. Now let's create a device on Datacake. Add device, uh, we choose API. Next, we select new product and we call this air compressor demo unit, for example. Next, uh, the serial number, as we could see, was aircom001. Going to copy this as well. Uh, this is the air compressor demo unit, location tags, I'll leave everything like it is. Next, I'm going to select the free plan. If you're asking right now, we have five devices free for everyone. Add this device, and this device is now added to the data cake, to the list of devices and to your workspace. Um, for wiring up the um, actual data to that device, we need to click on it, go into configuration, scroll down a little bit, and then we come to the HTTP payload decoder. In here, you find an endpoint URL. This is now tied to um, the pro uh, product that we just created and where this device belongs to. So we are copying this here, go into Node-RED, and then we are going to fire up a new request. So we take the HTTP request node. We can put this here in between, double click on it, make a post request, paste in the URL. Yes, I want SSL, of course. Never do something without encryption. Update, done, deploy. And I'm going to delete this debug. And if I click here now, we can see thanks, which is directly reported from Datacake. Now I'm going back into Datacake and I'm quickly reloading this page and scroll down again. Um, we can see this is the show logs. So in here we can already see the data which was sent from Node-RED. That means also because we have set the um, serial already and there is a base decoder provided within the API device. So this will be uh, added to your device when you create the device. This means that if I scroll down further, we have this suggested fields object here or um, section and you can see this is the data that was received for the device Aircom001 by this Node-RED script here already. And it already, so Datacake suggests now the following fields and you can create them here. Let's go ahead, system pressure, which is float, the unit might be bars, and this could be of uh, like primary. Then if the device is running as a Boolean, simply leave it. And the energy usage, which could be kilo, kilowatts, for example, power, power is kilowatts or watts and the other one the energy, energy usage is kilowatt hours. I'm just going simply fast through it here. Temperature, Celsius, this could be a primary. Runtime hours, which is hours, of course, but uh, yeah, I'll leave it like float. Hours till maintenance, hours, the warning, and the motor temperature at this field. And of course, because this is a device that probably connects to cellular. Let's add some fields for cellular signal and um, power maybe. I quickly added it. Uh, let's reload this page once more. And I added two additional fields, which is a cellular signal. Just added this here and the role is device signal. And then also battery, uh, could be a battery operated device just to show you the capabilities on Datacake, which is device battery. Of course, you also want to know where your, uh, or your air compressor is located. So we can add a field in here, type geolocation and call this device location and also tell Datacake by setting a rule that this field host, holds the information of device location. Always make sure it's geolocation. Add this and then we can also see that we have a couple of new fields here. 
What we do next, uh, we have everything here in the uh, database created, and we can also see that it was already. Uh, let me just show you by adding a new debug node and then wiring this up again here. So we can also see now uh, the data, which is uh, yeah being forwarded. And then we can see like system pressure is 5695. 5695. So now let's go ahead back to the top into the dashboard and let's create a short small dashboard for it. Just going to select the data like system pressure. We can also set a gauge. This was the very fast way to create a dashboard. I quickly um, skipped the video through it. Let's go once more back to KickRed. And what I'm going to do here is activating a repeat uh, mode on this. And I want this to happen like every five minutes. So I'm going to continuously simulate data and record it via data cake. Just trigger this once more. And we can see the live data here being sent to data cake. So next steps would be, we can also define a position in here. Let's place this device somewhere in Germany. We can see the device location now added. And um, because I assigned a couple of things to the device rule, what we can also do here on devices is we can see the primary, secondary device signal, device battery value. Uh, we can also see it in a grid, uh, which has a nice chart preview. And we can also see it on the map. And if you would have multiple compressors now, you could see them all over the place. By simply clicking on it, you can also access the dashboard on a sidebar. Last but not least, what you could do is go ahead, go into configuration and then provide a custom name and icon for that device. Also the location description text to group these devices and some custom metadata for it. Last but not least, you probably also want to upload an image for your device. And we can do this by going back into the configuration. Let's simply click on change, select the image you want to upload and then press on save. And this image will now show here in the top of your device. So that means you can use these images for reference. If you have multiple devices, we could just simply go ahead and now under devices, create a couple of new ones, select API next, and then we choose the existing product because all the things that we've just uh, defined on DataCake, like the amounts of data fields, the databases and um, the decoding and dashboarding and so on are um, stored or defined under the product. So we have this product defined, we select it, we select next, and then we can add up to four additional free devices. And this will be Aircom 002, 003, four, and you guessed it, five. I'm just going to put the serial numbers as names in here. We pick the free plan. As I've mentioned, we support up to five devices free. And now you have all of these devices here in your workspace. And now if you want to distinguish the different kind of compressors, all we need to do is change the serial numbers in here. Um, I'm going to simulate a couple of data sends. Yep, and you now can see we sent to two, three, four, and five, and zero from the beginning. Now back to data cake, and we can see data has arrived on all of these five devices. And because we all sent them to a product, they automatically all share the same definition and we need to set the location manually, um, but if they would have GPS, we could also see all the other devices in here, but just let's just in here. Now you could go ahead and also invite members, for example, so employees of your company, your customers or whatever. Uh, you can also share these devices now by going ahead, creating a public link, just going to do that right now. You can scan it and then this dashboard will be available to the ones that scan the dashboard. You can have it in your uh, branded data cake white label, for example. Um, yeah, and this is a good starting point to um, create your first IoT projects and move on from there on. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.